morning to all let's start with the new topic where in a wave optics resolving power of the optical instrument so what do you mean by we know that uh, what do you mean by optical instrument or optical instrument then what do you mean by resolving power of an optical instrument so it is the ability of the optical instrument to resolve the two closely lying point object that is called as resolving power of an optical instrument it is defined as it is the ability of it is the ability of an optical instrument instrument to resolve to resolve resolve the two closing resolve the two closely lying two closely lying point object Resolving power is inversely proportional to the limit of resolution of an instrument. Limit of resolution. This is the relationship between the resolving power and the limit of resolution of an optical instrument. Then what do you mean by limit of resolution? So first consider a microscope. So here limit of limit of resolution of microscope. Of microscope. So microscope it is a device used to magnify the point object. So what is the limit of resolution of a microscope? It is the minimum distance between the two point object. They can be just resolved when seen through a microscope. That is called as the limit of resolution of a microscope. So it is defined as it is the it is the minimum distance. Distance between two point object at which at which they can be they can be resolved resolved when they can be just resolved just resolved when when seen through a through a microscope this is called as limit of resolution of a microscope it is distance between two point object at which they can be just resolved when seen through a microscope for example objective of microscope this is object so here 
the vertical angle theta. So this is about the limit of resolution of a microscope. Then what what is the expression for limit of resolution of a microscope? Therefore, expression for expression for limit of Resolution of microscope. Therefore, the expression like this limit of resolution that is represented by dx that is one distance that is equal to one point two two lambda divided by two n sine theta. Here, dx represent where dx where dx represent the limit of resolution of microscope microscope. Then here lambda is the the wavelength of light used. Light used. Then here can represent the refractive index of index of the surrounding object. Refractive index of the object surrounding object surrounding medium. Here the theta represents the vertical angle. So this is about the expression for um, limit of resolution of a microscope. So dx is equal to one point two two lambda divided by two n sin theta. A lambda represents the wavelength of light used and the end represents the refractive index of the uh, medium object uh, of the surrounding medium. Then theta is the vertical angle here. So this is about the expression for resolution of a microscope. Then what do you mean by resolution of a microscope? Next one is resolution of a Resolving power of a microscope. So we already know that the relationship between the resolving power of an optical instrument and the limit of resolution of an optical instrument. We know that already we know that limit of resolving power of optical instrument it is the reciprocal of limit of resolution of an optical instrument. So according to this. The resolving power of a microscope can be defined as it is the reciprocal of a it is the reciprocal of limit of resolution of a microscope that is resolving power of power of microscope microscope is equal to one divided by the limit of limit of Resolution of microscope or it is the it is the reciprocal of 
color the minimum distance distance between two point object between two point object at which they can they can be just resolved when seen through a microscope so resolving power of microscope can be defined as a is the reciprocal of the limit of resolution of a microscope or in definition form a is the reciprocal of minimum distance between two point object uh, they can be at least they can be resolved when seen through a microscope this is the definition form of resolving power of a microscope then the expression for resolving power of microscope be like this resolving power equals to 1 divided by dx here dx means the limit of resolution of a microscope so therefore 1 divided by 1.22 lambda divided by 2n sin theta so the numerator the denominator goes to numerator therefore 2n sin theta divided by 1.22 lambda so this is the resolving power of a microscope so how the resolving power of a microscope can be increased so how resolving power of microscope can be increased so this can be increased by first part using higher refractive index of the medium to take to use up use up higher refractive index of the medium the next one is the increasing resolving power of microscope by decreasing the wavelength of light used to decrease decrease the wavelength of light used light used or <coughs> or using of shorter wavelength This is about the resolving power of a microscope or how it is depends on the factors. So let's uh, start with another one optical instrument that is called as telescope. Telescope in the limit of resolution of telescope. Limit of resolution of telescope nothing but it is the minimum angular separation between two point object, two point object at which at which they can be resolved, resolved when seen through a telescope. That is called as limit of resolution of a telescope. So it is a it is a minimum. angular separation between separation between two point objects two 
point object point objects at which they can be resolved when seeing through a telescope that is called as the limit of resolution of a telescope so expression for expression for limit of resolution of telescope that is d theta equals to 1.22 lambda divided by d so observe here it is the telescope object Object. It is the minimum angular separation between two point object. It can be just resolved when seen through a telescope. Here, this is telescope. So, expression like this: d theta equals to one point two two lambda divided by d. Here, d theta represents the limit of resolution of telescope and here lambda is say wavelength of light is used then d represent the diameter of the object and the object here the same thing here also this one is resolving power of a telescope so resolving power of a telescope That is, R e equals to one divided by d theta. That is equal to one divided by one point two two lambda divided by d. So d goes to numerator. D divided by one point two two lambda. R e. So this can be defined as the resolving power of a Telescope can be defined as it is the basic problem of limit of resolution of a telescope. So the expression R P equals to or D divided by one by two two lambda. Then how the resolve resolving power of a telescope can be increased? So it is increased by increasing the diameter of an object first one is increasing it is increased by by increasing increasing the diameter of a Diameter of the object used. The next one is the use of use of shorter wavelength. This is the factor depends on the resolving power of the telescope. It can be increased by Increasing the diameter of the object and decreasing the wavelength or sharp beams of sharper wavelength, then only we get increasing the resolution.
resolving the resolving power of a telescope. The next concept is polarization. So, polarization is the phenomena in which the vibration of light frame are restricted to a uh, one plane and it is perpendicular to the propagation, direction of propagation that is called as polarization. It is the phenomena in which in which the light frame are restricted to one plane one plane perpendicular to perpendicular to the direction of propagation This is called as the phenomenon of polarization. Polarization is the phenomenon in which the light frame are restricted to the one plane and perpendicular to the direction of propagation. So, the next one is plane polarization. Plane polarization. So, it is also a light wave, it's a light wave, light wave having, having vibrate, vibrate, vibration, vibration in, in one plane. Perpendicular to perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Direction of propagation. Sorry, here the light ray vibrate vibration. Restricted to one plane and is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. So, polarization can be defined as the phenomena in which the light wave vibration are restricted to one plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation. That is called as polarization. Plane polarization means it is a light wave having vibration in a one plane, in one plane but perpendicular to the direction of propagation. That is called as plane polarization. Then the representation of plane polarization. Representation of plane polarization. So that is like this. A arrow mark. This is the direction of propagation. And perpendicular to the, the vibrations are perpendicular to the direction of propagation. This is the representation of a plane polarization and also this is the representation of a plane polarization. Here the two sided double arrow are a dotted lines on this arrow. This is the a direction of propagation of wavelength and this is the vibration it is perpendicular to the plane polarization then the representation of uncovalorizing light and Polarizing. 
representation of unpolarized light. Yes, in polarized light only double arrow and are a dotted lines are the arrow mark. But here both the representation will be expressed in single diagram. This is the representation of an unpolarized light. The next topic is polarized. It is important for one marks polarized. It is it is uh, an optical instrument. It is used to produce and analyze the plain polarized light. It is called as polarizer. It's a device. Device used to used to produce used to produce and and analyze. Analyze the let's say plane polarized light. This is important for one mark's definition. And all these things are very very important definition for two marks section. That is the solar power of telescope, microscope. And the polarization and the polarity. These are the very important definition for the main examination. It, it may has three or two, two or three marks in the examination. So we will they continue in the next class. Thank you.